Summertime, they'll let you go up that chairlift for 10 bucks a pop. And uh, it's a beautiful, clear day. So we're going to see what we can see. Crystal Mountain. And storms so hot of me, You're drifting too far. We're lucky, it's an absolutely clear day. Not a cloud in the sky, and uh, if you ever get up here and get a chance, take the chairlift, it's worth it, uh, because the views are spectacular. And uh, summer is a little bit afraid of heights, but you know, all, as all skiers know, that's part of it, you gotta deal with that. It doesn't bother somebody, it bothers others. But there's no way you can fall out of this thing, I mean, unless you're up dancing around. Johnny B probably would fall out, he'd find a way. But, uh, here comes a mountain bike, you might wanna get that guy. So you can ride to the top on your bike, and then you, you can roll all the way down like he's doing. <laughs> hey, dude, wave at us for the film. See, yeah, see, he's friendly. Yeah. See that? <laughs> that mountain biker's had a tough day. He was coming down here and he's rolling all. I don't recommend mountain biking right underneath the chair. Though. It doesn't look like much fun. <laughs> hey, wave for the film. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, this is Alex, the chairlift operator up here at Crystal Mountain. I'm just going to ask him a couple questions about uh, coming up here in the summer. Why should people come up here in the summer? I'm sure that this is close to them because you'll get to go out dying. Yeah. yeah. It's so beautiful up here. The first time I rode up here 30 years ago, it was 8 o'clock in the morning. I was the only man on the mountain. It was just like it was a religious experience. I was so thrilled I wanted to fly. Where I'm standing, you can see Mount Baker on a clear day, 100 miles away. In front of me is Mount Rainier. Left of the uh, St. Helens, Adams over here, Glacier Peak to the right. Now, what's uh, how many people come up here on an average? Summer well, day? one summer we had 500 people come up here one Sunday afternoon. Wow, it's right. about probably 200 yesterday. We're looking for another 200 today. So bring your friends and come up. These are pretty quick. They're four-seater chairs, high-speed what they call high-speed quads. Yeah, this is the detachable. When the chair goes around that boom wheel over here, it comes off the whole rope. It comes off the cable clamp on the clay cable that comes loose and the fingers grab it and pull the chair physically. So then it goes around over there, over there it joins the cable again. That's what makes it go so slow here and so fast out there. He's listening to a little jazz here. It's pretty nice uh, yeah. duty I think up here. Yeah. What, what? KPLU in case you want to roll. <laughs> Anyone ever fall off the chair or anything weird like that? Uh, people have fallen off when they get on the chair they slide off. Right. Which is kind of funny. <laughs> hey Alex, thanks a lot. Okay, Sherman. Okay. See you summer. Nice to meet you, Alex. Okay. Happy life. <laughs>this is the view you get from the top of the Crystal Mountain lift. It's that I mean you're it's like you can reach out and grab that mountain. Uh, but you gotta realize it's 14,410 feet high. I'm surprised I knew that, aren't you? And uh, it's a volcano. It's uh, the highest point in the state of Washington. We're gonna get even closer because we're gonna go to a, a couple of spots that are actually, we're not in the park right now. We're gonna go to a couple of spots that are in the park and get up real close to the mountain. You gotta come up here, Crystal Mountain. All I can think of though as we head down the mountain is that we're in, you know, what would Johnny B have done on this trip? One thing I know right now, he'd have his shirt off. <laughs> Just not the same without the monkey boy. And he would have done something weird at the top. But Johnny B is near with us, so we're gonna have to get on without him. Come to Jesus today. Let him show you the way. This is sunrise. We're about halfway up the mountain. We're 6,400 feet of elevation. And we're on the uh, east side of the mountain, not right near. Uh, Sometimes you can see some climbers. If you look up there on the mountain, we brought our telescope. We're going to check it out. It's uh, real beautiful up here, meadows with all the flowers. You can see some of them here. And uh, you can hike up. We're going to hike up here in a second. You can hike up there to that 
little outcropping there and you can see everything over to the uh, north and the west. Uh, beautiful views. Fall is here, hear the yell, back to school, ring the bell, brand new shoes, walk in blues, climb the fence, books and pens, I can tell that we are We're heading up uh, Chinooks Pass. This is one of the highest passes in the state. In fact, it's so high that it's closed in the wintertime. Uh, you know, the snow comes in and they just close it off and they clear it out in the spring and open back up. Through the park and by the tree, we will rest upon the ground and look at all the bugs we found. Safely walk to school without a sound. Safely walk to school without a sound. Just a little bit east of Mount Rainier. And we're over 5,000 feet in elevation. It's beautiful. Uh, it's right, this one's right by the road, so it's a popular place for people to stop and have a little picnic. Uh, as you can see, I'm wearing sandals. Me too. And my toes are getting cold because I'm walking here in that deal. But Johnny B isn't here today, but it would really cramp his style because that deformed big toe he has would get all uh, cold, you know. So. Wow! All I can say is wow. This is one of the prettiest places I've seen in our travels through the state, and I've seen a lot of them. This is right up there on my list. Uh, Tupso Lake right below us here. We're on Chinook Pass. We're almost to the top on the highway here. Um, of course, Mount Rainier on a beautiful day. So I wish you could smell what it smells like here. It smells like a forest. I mean, it smells like nature. Uh, wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. So no, I don't even one of the few times in my life I'm speechless standing here above Tupso Lake. <laughs> wow. Now we walk together again. I can tell that we are gonna be friends. Yes, I can tell that we are gonna be friends. Paradise. On a day like this, it really is paradise. That's the paradise uh, lodge there behind us. And this is a starting point for a lot of the climbs that uh, go to the summit of Rain. Uh, also, a lot of day hikes and things like that. It's real popular with tourists for a little day excursion. You can drive right here to the lodge and uh, have a picnic or go for a little tiny.